The African Union is a continental union consisting of all 55 countries on the continent of Africa, except for territories of European countries located in Africa. It was established on 26 May 2001 in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia and launched on 9 July 2002 in South Africa with the aim of replacing the Organization of African Unity established on 25 May 1963 in Addis Ababa with 32 signatory governments. The most important decisions of the O are made by the Assembly of the African Union, a semi-annual meeting of the heads of state and government of its member states. The AU's secretariat, the African Union Commission, is based in Addis Ababa. In result of its geographical location, the African Union has an area of around 29 million square kilometers, 11 million square miles, and includes popular world landmarks including the Sahara and the Nile. They have adopted a gold, green and red based emblem and flag to represent the Continental Union, where they held a competition for citizens to design a flag in which they chose a submission to replace the old flag. Their main celebration occurs on Africa Day on 25 May. The primary languages spoken include Arabic, English, French and Portuguese and the languages of Africa. Within the African Union, there are official bodies such as the Peace and Security Council and the Pan-African Parliament. Each individual state organizes their own international relations and will work with each other to develop their foreign policy. However, it was not until recently did the O form continent-wide passports. Overview The objectives of the O are the following To achieve greater unity and solidarity between the African countries and Africans. To defend the sovereignty, territorial integrity and independence of its member states. To accelerate the political and social economic integration of the continent. To promote and defend African common positions on issues of interest to the continent and its peoples. To encourage international cooperation, taking due account of the Charter of the United Nations and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. To promote peace, security, and stability on the continent. To promote democratic principles and institutions, popular participation and good governance. To promote and protect human and people's rights in accordance with the African Charter on Human and People's Rights and other relevant human rights instruments. To establish the necessary conditions which enable the continent to play its rightful role in the global economy and in international negotiations. To promote sustainable development at the economic, social and cultural levels as well as the integration of African economies. To promote cooperation in all fields of human activity to raise the living standards of African peoples. To coordinate and harmonize the policies between the existing and future regional economic communities for the gradual attainment of the objectives of the Union. To advance the development of the continent by promoting research in all fields, in particular in science and technology. To work with relevant international partners in the eradication of preventable diseases and the promotion of good health on the continent, the African Union is made up of both political and administrative bodies. The highest decision-making organ is the Assembly of the African Union, made up of all the heads of state or government of member states of the O. The Assembly is chaired by Paul Kagame, President of Rwanda. The O also has a representative body, the Pan-African Parliament, which consists of 265 members elected by the national legislatures of the O member states. Its president is Roger N. Koto Dang. Other political institutions of the O include the Executive Council, made up of foreign ministers, which prepares decisions for the Assembly. The Permanent Representatives Committee, made up of the ambassadors to Addis Ababa of O member states, and The Economic, Social, and Cultural Council ECOSOCC, a civil society consultative body, the O Commission, the Secretariat to the Political Structures, is chaired by Nkosazana Dolomini Zuma of South Africa. On 15 July 2012, Ms. Dilamini Zuma won a tightly contested vote to become the first female head of the African Union Commission, replacing Jean Ping of Gabon. Other O structures are hosted by different member states. The African Commission on Human and People's Rights is based in Banjul, the Gambia, and 
the New Partnership for Africa's Development and APRM Secretariats and the Pan African Parliament are in Midrand, South Africa. The O covers the entire continent except for several territories held by Spain, Canary Islands, Plazas de Soberania, France, Mayotte, Reunion, scattered islands in the Indian Ocean, Portugal, Madeira, Savage Islands, and the United Kingdom, Saint Helena, Ascension, and Tristan da Cunha. The AU's first military intervention in a member state was the May 2003 deployment of a peacekeeping force of soldiers from South Africa, Ethiopia, and Mozambique to Burundi to oversee the implementation of the various agreements. O troops were also deployed in Sudan for peacekeeping during Darfur conflict, before the mission was handed over to the United Nations on 1 January 2008 UNAMID. The O has also sent a peacekeeping mission to Somalia, of which the peacekeeping troops are from Uganda and Burundi. The O has adopted a number of important new documents establishing norms at continental level, to supplement those already in force when it was created. These include the African Union Convention on Preventing and Combating Corruption 2003, the African Charter on Democracy, Elections and Governance 2007, the New Partnership for Africa's Development NEPAD, and its Associated Declaration on Democracy, Political, Economic and Corporate Governance. History The historical foundations of the African Union originated in the Union of African States, an early confederation that was established by Kwame Nkrumah in the 1960s, as well as subsequent attempts to unite Africa, including the Organization of African Unity OAU, which was established on 25 May 1963, and the African Economic Community in 1981. Critics argued that the OAU in particular did little to protect the rights and liberties of African citizens from their own political leaders, often dubbing it the dictator's club. The idea of creating the O was revived in the mid 1990s under the leadership of Libyan head of state Muammar al Gaddafi. The heads of state and government of the OAU issued the CERTA Declaration named after CERTA, in Libya on 9 September 1999, calling for the establishment of an African Union. The declaration was followed by summits at Lomé in 2000, when the Constitutive Act of the African Union was adopted, and at Lusaka in 2001, when the plan for the implementation of the African Union was adopted. During the same period, the initiative for the establishment of the New Partnership for Africa's Development NEPAD, was also established. The African Union was launched in Durban on 9 July 2002, by its first chairperson, South African Thabo Mbeki, at the first session of the Assembly of the African Union. The second session of the Assembly was in Maputo in 2003, and the third session in Addis Ababa on 6 July 2004. Since 2010, the African Union eyes the establishment of a joint African Space Agency. Barack Obama was the first ever sitting United States president to speak in front of the African Union in Addis Ababa, on 29 July 2015. With his speech, he encouraged the world to increase economic ties via investments and trade with the continent, and lauded the progresses made in education, infrastructure and economy. But he also criticized lacks of democracy and leaders who refused to step down, discrimination against minorities LGBT people, religious groups and ethnicities and corruption. He suggested an intensified democratization and free trade, to significantly increase living quality for Africans. Treaties Geography <treaties> 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 Member states of the African Union cover almost the entirety of continental Africa, excluding only Spanish North Africa disambiguation, and several offshore islands. Consequently, the geography of the African Union is wildly diverse, including the world's largest hot desert the Sahara, huge jungles and savannas, and the world's longest river the Nile. The O presently has an area of 29,922,059 square kilometers, 11,552,972 square miles, with 24,165 kilometers, 15,015 miles of coastline. The vast majority of this area is on continental Africa, while the only significant territory off the mainland is the island of Madagascar, the world's fourth largest island, accounting for slightly less than 2% of the total. Demographics 
Languages According to the Constitutive Act of the African Union, its working languages are Arabic, English, French and Portuguese, and African languages, if possible. A protocol amending the Constitutive Act, adopted in 2003 but as of June 2016 not yet ratified by a two-thirds majority of member states, would add Spanish, Swahili and any other African language, and declare all official, rather than working, languages of the African Union. The Executive Council shall determine the process and practical modalities for the use of official languages as working languages. Founded in 2001 under the auspices of the O, the African Academy of Languages promotes the usage and perpetuation of African languages among African people. The O declared 2006 the Year of African Languages. 2006 also marked Ghana's 55th anniversary since it founded the Bureau of Ghana Languages originally known as Gold Coast Vernacular Literature Bureau. Politics. The African Union has a number of official bodies Pan-African Parliament PAP, to become the highest legislative body of the African Union. The seat of the PAP is at Midrand, South Africa. The Parliament is composed of 265 elected representatives from all 55 astronomical unit states, and intended to provide popular and civil society participation in the processes of democratic governance. Its president is Roger N. Koto Dang, of Cameroon. Assembly of the African Union Composed of heads of state and heads of government of O states, the Assembly is currently the supreme governing body of the African Union. It is gradually devolving some of its decision-making powers to the Pan-African Parliament. It meets once a year and makes its decisions by consensus or by a two-thirds majority. The current chair of the O is Rwandan President Paul Kagame. African Union Commission or authority. The Secretariat of the African Union, composed of ten commissioners and supporting staff and headquartered in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. In a similar fashion to its European counterpart, the European Commission, it is responsible for the administration and coordination of the AU's activities and meetings. Court of Justice of the African Union The Constitutive Act provides for a Court of Justice to rule on disputes over interpretation of O treaties. A protocol to set up this Court of Justice was adopted in 2003 and entered into force in 2009. It was, however, superseded by a protocol creating an African Court of Justice and Human Rights, which will incorporate the already established African Court on Human and People's Rights see below, and have two chambers, one for general legal matters and one for rulings on the human rights treaties. Executive Council Composed of ministers designated by the governments of member states. It decides on matters such as foreign trade, social security, food, agriculture and communications, is accountable to the Assembly, and prepares material for the Assembly to discuss and approve. It is chaired by Mr. Sean Makayana of Zimbabwe 2015. Permanent Representatives Committee Consisting of nominated permanent representatives of member states, the committee prepares the work for the Executive Council, similar the role of the Committee of Permanent Representatives in the European Union. Peace and Security Council PSC, proposed at the Lusaka Summit in 2001 and established in 2004 under a protocol to the Constitutive Act adopted by the O Assembly in July 2002. The protocol defines the PSC as a collective security and early warning arrangement to facilitate timely and effective response to conflict and crisis situations in Africa. Other responsibilities conferred to the PSC by the protocol include prevention, management and resolution of conflicts, post-conflict peace building and developing common defense policies. The PSC has 15 members elected on a regional basis by the Assembly. Similar in intent and operation to the United Nations Security Council. Economic, Social and Cultural Council an advisory organ composed of professional and civic representatives, similar to the European Economic and Social Committee. The chair of ECOSOCC, elected in 2008, is Cameroonian lawyer Akiri Muna of the Pan-African Lawyers' Union Palu. Specialized technical committees Both the Abuja Treaty and the Constitutive Act provide for specialized technical committees to be established made up of African ministers to advise the Assembly. In practice, they have never been set up. 
The ten proposed themes are, rural economy and agricultural matters, monetary and financial affairs, trade, customs, and immigration, industry, science and technology, energy, natural resources, and environment, transport, communications, and tourism, health, labor, and social affairs, education, culture, and human resources. Financial institutions African Central Bank, Abuja, Nigeria African Investment Bank, Tripoli, Libya African Monetary Fund, Yaoundé, Cameroon These institutions have not yet been established, however, the steering committees working on their founding have been constituted. Eventually, the O aims to have a single currency the Afro. Human Rights the African Commission on Human and People's Rights, in existence since 1986, is established under the African Charter on Human and People's Rights the African Charter rather than the Constitutive Act of the African Union. It is the premier African human rights body, with responsibility for monitoring and promoting compliance with the African Charter. The African Court on Human and People's Rights was established in 2006 to supplement the work of the Commission, following the entry into force of a protocol to the African Charter providing for its creation. It is planned that the African Court on Human and People's Rights will be merged with the Court of Justice of the African Union see above. African Energy Commission Topic. Membership All UN member states based in Africa and on African waters are members of the O, as is the disputed Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic Sadr. Morocco, which claims sovereignty over the Sadr's territory, withdrew from the Organization of African Unity, the AU's predecessor, in 1984 due to the admission of the Sadr as a member. However, on 30 January 2017, the O admitted Morocco as a member state. Members Governance The principal topic for debate at the July 2007 O summit held in Accra, Ghana, was the creation of a union government, with the aim of moving towards a United States of Africa. A study on the union government was adopted in late 2006, and proposes various options for completing the African Union project. There are divisions among African states on the proposals, with some notably Libya following a maximalist view leading to a common government with a no army, and others especially the southern African states supporting rather a strengthening of the existing structures, with some reforms to deal with administrative and political challenges in making the O Commission and other bodies truly effective. Following a heated debate in Accra, the Assembly of Heads of State and Government agreed in the form of a declaration to review the state of affairs of the O with a view to determining its readiness towards a union government. In particular, the Assembly agreed to accelerate the economic and political integration of the African continent, including the formation of a union government of Africa, conduct an audit of the institutions and organs of the O, review the relationship between the O and the Rex, find ways to strengthen the O and elaborate a timeframe to establish a union government of Africa. The declaration lastly noted the importance of involving the African peoples, including Africans in the diaspora, in the processes leading to the formation of the Union government." Following this decision, a panel of eminent persons was set up to conduct the "...audit review". The review team began its work on 1 September 2007. The review was presented to the Assembly of Heads of State and Government at the January 2008 summit in Addis Ababa. No final decision was taken on the recommendations, however, and a committee of ten heads of state was appointed to consider the review and report back to the July 2008 summit to be held in Egypt. At the July 2008 summit, a decision was once again deferred, for a final debate at the January 2009 summit to be held in Addis Ababa. Topic. Role of African Union One of the key debates in relation to the achievement of greater continental integration is the relative priority that should be given to integration of the continent as a unit in itself or to integration of the sub-regions. The 1980 Lagos Plan of Action for the Development of Africa and the 1991 Treaty to Establish the African Economic Community also referred to as the Abuja Treaty, proposed the creation of regional economic communities as the basis for African integration, with a timetable for regional and then continental integration to follow. Currently, there are eight RECs recognized by the O, each established under a separate regional treaty. 
They are the Arab Maghreb Union (AMU), the Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa (Comisa), the Community of Sahel-Saharan States (CENSAD), the East African Community (EAC), the Economic Community of Central African States (ECCAS). The Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS. The Intergovernmental Authority on Development IGAD. The Southern Africa Development Community SADC. The membership of many of the communities overlaps, and their rationalization has been under discussion for several years, and formed the theme of the 2006 Banjul Summit. At the July 2007 Accra Summit the Assembly finally decided to adopt a protocol on relations between the African Union and the regional economic communities. This protocol is intended to facilitate the harmonization of policies and ensure compliance with the Abuja Treaty and Lagos Plan of Action time frames. Topic. Selection of chair In 2006, the O decided to create a committee to consider the implementation of a rotation system between the regions in relation to the presidency. Controversy arose at the 2006 summit when Sudan announced its candidacy for the AU's chairmanship, as a representative of the East African region. Several member states refused to support Sudan because of tensions over Darfur see also below. Sudan ultimately withdrew its candidacy and President Denis Sassou Nguesso of the Republic of the Congo was elected to a one-year term. At the January 2007 summit, Sassou Nguesso was replaced by President John Agyakum Kufwa of Ghana, despite another attempt by Sudan to gain the chair. 2007 was the 50th anniversary of Ghana's independence, a symbolic moment for the country to hold the chair of the O, and to host the mid-year summit at which the proposed union government was also discussed. In January 2008, President Jakaya Kikwete of Tanzania took over as chair, representing the East African region and thus apparently ending Sudan's attempt to become chair, at least till the rotation returns to East Africa. The current chair is Benin. Topic: <laughs> List of chairpersons. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Headquarters. The main administrative capital of the African Union is in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, where the African Union Commission is headquartered. A new headquarters complex, the O Conference Center and Office Complex AUCC, was inaugurated on 28 January 2012, during the 18th O Summit. The complex was built by China State Construction Engineering Corporation as a gift from the Chinese government, and accommodates, among other facilities, a 2,500-seat plenary hall and a 20-story office tower. The tower is 99.9 .9 meters high to signify the date 9 September 1999, when the Organization of African Unity voted to become the African Union. The building cost $200 million to construct. On 26 January 2018, five years after the building's completion, the French newspaper Le Monde published an article stating that the Chinese government had heavily bugged the building, installing listening devices in the walls and furniture and setting up the computer system to copy data to servers in Shanghai daily. The Chinese government denied that they bugged the building, stating that the accusations were utterly groundless and ridiculous. Ethiopian Prime Minister Hylamariam Dessalane rejected the French media report. Moussa Faki Mahamat, head of the African Union Commission, said the allegations in the Le Mans report were false. These are totally false allegations and I believe that we are completely disregarding them. <laughs> African Union summits <laughs> Foreign relations The individual member states of the African Union coordinate foreign policy through this agency, in addition to conducting their own international relations on a state-by-state -state basis. The O represents the interests of African peoples at large in intergovernmental organizations IGOs. for instance, it is a permanent observer at the United Nations General Assembly. Both the African Union and the United Nations work in tandem to address issues of common concerns in various areas. The African Union mission in United Nations aspires to serve as a bridge between the two organizations. Membership of the O overlaps with other IGOs and occasionally these third-party organizations and the O will coordinate matters of public policy. 
The African Union maintains special diplomatic representation with the United States and the European Union. In 2016, the Union introduced continent wide passports. Upon the election of Donald Trump for the presidency of the U.S., in 2017, the latter passed an executive order for a ban on citizens from seven countries with suspected links to terrorism, that concerns three African countries. During the 28th African Union Summit, in Ethiopia, African leaders criticized the ban as they expressed their growing concerns for the African economy, under Trump's policies. Africa–China relations One of the leading economic partners of the continent has been the People's Republic of China PRC. In September 2018, the bloc held its third forum on China-Africa Cooperation Summit in Beijing, China. Economy The AU's future goals include the creation of a free trade area, a customs union, a single market, a central bank, and a common currency see African Monetary Union, thereby establishing economic and monetary union. The current plan is to establish an African economic community with a single currency by 2023. Topic. Indicators The following table shows various data for O member states, including area, population, economic output and income inequality, as well as various indices, including human development, viability of the state, perception of corruption, economic freedom, state of peace, freedom of the press and democratic level. A external data from 2016 B external data from 2015 C external data from 2014 DO total used for indicators 1 through 3, O weighted average used for indicator 4, O unweighted average used for indicators 5 through 12. Topic: Culture. Topic: Symbols. The emblem of the African Union consists of a gold ribbon bearing small interlocking red rings, from which palm leaves shoot up around an outer gold circle and an inner green circle, within which is a gold representation of Africa. The red interlinked rings stand for African solidarity and the blood shed for the liberation of Africa, the palm leaves for peace, the gold, for Africa's wealth and bright future, the green, for African hopes and aspirations. To symbolize African unity, the silhouette of Africa is drawn without internal borders. The African Union adopted its new flag at its 14th Ordinary Session of the Assembly of Heads of State and Government taking place in Addis Ababa 2010. During the 8th African Union Summit which took place in Addis Ababa on 29 and 30 January 2007, the heads of state and government decided to launch a competition for the selection of a new flag for the Union. They prescribed a green background for the flag symbolizing hope of Africa and stars to represent member states. Pursuant to this decision, the African Union Commission AUC organized a competition for the selection of a new flag for the African Union. The AUC received a total of 106 entries proposed by citizens of 19 African countries and two from the diaspora. The proposals were then examined by a panel of experts put in place by the African Union Commission and selected from the five African regions for short listing according to the main directions given by the heads of state and government. At the 13th Ordinary Session of the Assembly, the heads of state and government examined the report of the panel and selected one among all the proposals. The flag is now part of the paraphernalia of the African Union and replaces the old one. The old flag of the African Union bears a broad green horizontal stripe, a narrow band of gold, the emblem of the African Union at the center of a broad white stripe, another narrow gold band and a final broad green stripe. Again, the green and gold symbolize Africa's hopes and aspirations as well as its wealth and bright future, and the white represents the purity of Africa's desire for friends throughout the world. The flag has led to the creation of the national colors of Africa of gold and green sometimes together with white. These colors are visible in one way or another in the flags of many African nations. Together the colors green, gold, and red constitute the pan-African colors. The African Union has adopted the anthem, Let us all unite and celebrate together. Celebration 
Africa Day, formerly African Freedom Day and African Liberation Day, is an annual commemoration regarding the founding of the Organization of African Unity on 25 May 1963, and occurring on the same date of the month each year. Other celebrations include the following The Fez Festival of World Sacred Music, a week-long celebration for harmony between cultures with dancing, Moroccan music, art exhibitions and films. The Nizna Oyster Festival, held in Nizna and focused around sport, food and their oyster heritage. Lake of Stars Festival, three-day celebration that takes place in Lake Malawi, showcasing African music and welcoming people from around the world. Fet du Vaden, also known as the Wida Voodoo Festival. It is centered around their rituals on voodoo temples, with entertainment that includes horse races and traditional drum performances. Umalanga ceremony, is mainly a private event for young women but on the sixth and seventh days the traditions are done publicly. Marsabit Lake Turkana Cultural Festival, held in Kenya and celebrates harmony amongst tribes with their culture, singing, dancing and traditional costumes. <laughs> Current issues The O faces many challenges, including health issues such as combating malaria and the AIDS, HIV epidemic, political issues such as confronting undemocratic regimes and mediating in the many civil wars, economic issues such as improving the standard of living of millions of impoverished, uneducated Africans, ecological issues such as dealing with recurring famines, desertification, and lack of ecological sustainability, as well as the legal issues regarding Western Sahara. Topic. AIDS in Africa The O has been active in addressing the AIDS pandemic in Africa. In 2001, the O established AIDS Watch Africa to coordinate and mobilize a continent-wide response. Sub-Saharan Africa, especially southern and eastern Africa, is the most affected area in the world. Though this region is home to only 6.2% of the world's population, it is also home to half of the world's population infected with HIV. While the measurement of HIV prevalence rates has proved methodologically challenging, more than 20% of the sexually active population of many countries of southern Africa may be infected, with South Africa, Botswana, Kenya, Namibia, and Zimbabwe all expected to have a decrease in life expectancy by an average of 6.5 years. The pandemic has had massive implications for the economy of the continent, reducing economic growth rates by 2 to 4% across Africa. In July 2007, the O endorsed two new initiatives to combat the AIDS crisis, including a push to recruit, train, and integrate 2 million community health workers into the continent's healthcare systems. In January 2012, the African Union Assembly requested that the African Union Commission would work out a roadmap of shared responsibility to draw on African efforts for a viable health funding with support of traditional and emerging partners to address AIDS dependency response. Once created, the roadmap as it is officially known provided a group of solutions that would enhance the shared responsibility and global solidarity for AIDS, TB, and malaria responses in Africa by 2015. The roadmap was organized into three pillars which were, diversified financing, access to medicines, and enhanced health governance. The roadmap held stakeholders accountable for the realization of these solutions between 2012 and 2015. The first pillar, diversified financing, ensures that countries begin to develop a country-specific financial sustainability plans with clear targets, and identify and maximize opportunities to diversify funding sources in order to increase the domestic resource allocation to AIDS and other diseases. The second pillar, access to affordable and quality assured medicines, tries to promote and facilitate investing in leading medicine hub manufacturers in Africa, accelerate and strengthen medicine regulatory harmonization, and create legislation that would help to protect the knowledge of the researchers who develop these life-saving medicines. The third pillar, enhanced leadership and governance, tries to invest in programs that support people and communities to prevent HIV and ensure that leadership at all levels is mobilized to implement the roadmap. There are several organizations that will ensure the smooth implementation of the roadmap, including NEPAD, UNAIDS, WHO, and several other UN partners. Topic. Libya When the conflicts in Libya began in 2011, the African Union was initially criticized for not doing much to prevent the escalation of conflict in Libya. 
Additionally, the O hesitated to take a side when the conflict in Libya began. There was some vagueness when it came to the African Union's position in the conflict, it was unclear if they were fully supporting the Libyan regime or if they were instead supporting the Libyan citizens. This ambiguity occurred right around the time when there were several human right violations against the Libyan regime. It was later realized that the hesitation in the AU's response to the Arab Spring in Libya was due to its lack of capacity and capability for engaging in democratic reforms. The O attempted to mediate in the early stages of the 2011 Libyan civil war, forming an ad hoc committee of five presidents Congolese President Denis Sassou Nguesso, Malian President Amadou Toumani Touré, Mauritanian President Mohamed Old Abdelaziz, South African President Jacob Zuma, and Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni to broker a truce. However, the beginning of the NATO-led military intervention in March 2011 prevented the committee from traveling to Libya to meet with Libyan leader and former head of the O until 2010 Muammar Gaddafi. As a body, the O sharply dissented from the United Nations Security Council's decision to create a no-fly zone over Libya, though a few member states, such as Botswana, Gabon, Zambia, and others expressed support for the resolution. As a result of Gaddafi's defeat at the Battle of Tripoli, the decisive battle of the war, in August 2011, the Arab League voted to recognize the anti-Gaddafi National Transitional Council as the legitimate government of the country pending elections, yet although the council has been recognized by several O member states, including two countries that are also members of the Arab League, the O Peace and Security Council voted on 26 August 2011 not to recognize it, insisting that a ceasefire be agreed to and a national unity government be formed formed by both sides in the civil war. A number of O member states led by Ethiopia, Nigeria, and Rwanda requested that the O recognize the NTC as Libya's interim governing authority, and several other O member states have recognized the NTC regardless of the Peace and Security Council's decision. However, O member states Algeria and Zimbabwe have indicated they will not recognize the NTC, and South Africa has expressed reservations as well. On the 20th of September 2011, the African Union officially recognized the National Transitional Council as the legitimate representative of Libya. In post-Gaddafi Libya, the African Union believes it still has an important responsibility to the country despite its failure to contribute to the conflict when it originated. The O is essentially fighting an uphill battle though because of their failure to support the Libyan rebels. Although the African Union is there to keep peace, it is not a long-term solution. The goal, as stated by the O, is to establish a Libyan government that is sustainable to ensuring the peace in Libya. To achieve some level of peace in Libya, the O has to moderate peace talks which are aimed at achieving compromises and power-sharing accommodations as well. Topic. Military Topic. Togo In response to the death of Nasingbe Ayadema, President of Togo, on 5 February 2005, O leaders described the naming of his son Foray Nasingbe the successor as a military coup. Togo's constitution calls for the Speaker of Parliament to succeed the President in the event of his death. By law, the Parliament Speaker must call national elections to choose a new president within 60 days. The AU's protest forced Nasingbe to hold elections. Under heavy allegations of election fraud, he was officially elected president on 4 May 2005. <inaudible> Mauritania On 3 August 2005, a coup in Mauritania led the African Union to suspend the country from all organizational activities. The military council that took control of Mauritania promised to hold elections within two years. These were held in early 2007, the first time that the country had held elections that were generally agreed to be of an acceptable standard. Following the elections, Mauritania's membership of the O was restored. However, on 6 August 2008, a fresh coup overthrew the government elected in 2007. The O once again suspended Mauritania from the continental body. The suspension was once again lifted in 2009 after the military junta agreed with the opposition to organize elections. Topic. Mali The Malian army was formed on 1 October 1960 and was supported by the Soviet Union. In March 2012, a military coup was staged in Mali, when an alliance of Tuareg and Islamist forces conquered the north, resulting in a coming to power of the Islamists. 
This resulted in the deaths of hundreds of Malian soldiers and the loss of control over their camps and positions. After a military intervention with help from French troops, the region was in control of the Malian army. To reinstall local authorities, the O helped to form a caretaker government, supporting it and holding presidential elections in Mali in July 2013. In 2013, a summit for the African Union was held and it was decided that the African Union was going to enlarge their military presence in Mali. The O decided to do this because of increasing tensions between Al-Qaeda forces and the Mali army. There have been several rebel groups that are vying for control of parts of Mali. These rebel groups include the National Movement for the Liberation of Azawad MNLA, the National Front for the Liberation of Azawad FLNA, Ganda Khoi, Ganda Izo, Ansar ad-Din, and Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb AQIM. O forces have been tasked with counterinsurgency missions in Mali as well as governing presidential elections to ensure as smooth a transition of power as possible. Topic: Regional conflicts and peacekeeping. One of the objectives of the O is to promote peace, security, and stability on the continent. Among its principles is peaceful resolution of conflicts among member states of the Union through such appropriate means as may be decided upon by the Assembly." The primary body charged with implementing these objectives and principles is the Peace and Security Council. The PSC has the power, among other things, to authorize peace support missions, to impose sanctions in case of unconstitutional change of government, and to "...take initiatives and action it deems appropriate." in response to potential or actual conflicts. The PSC is a decision-making body in its own right, and its decisions are binding on member states. Article 4 H of the Constitutive Act, repeated in Article 4 of the Protocol to the Constitutive Act on the PSC, also recognizes the right of the Union to intervene in member state in circumstances of war crimes, genocide and crimes against humanity. Any decision to intervene in a member state under Article 4 of the Constitutive Act will be made by the Assembly on the recommendation of the PSC. Since it first met in 2004, the PSC has been active in relation to the crises in Darfur, Comoros, Somalia, Democratic Republic of Congo, Burundi, Côte d'Ivoire and other countries. It has adopted resolutions creating the O peacekeeping operations in Somalia and Darfur, and imposing sanctions against persons undermining peace and security such as travel bans and asset freezes against the leaders of the rebellion in Comoros. The Council is in the process of overseeing the establishment of a standby force to serve as a permanent African peacekeeping force. Institute for Security Studies, South Africa, March 2008. The founding treaty of the O also called for the establishment of the African Peace and Security Architecture APSA, including the African Standby Force ASF, which is to be deployed in emergencies. That means, in cases of genocide or other serious human rights violations, an ASF mission can be launched even against the wishes of the government of the country concerned, as long as it is approved by the O General Assembly. In the past O peacekeeping missions, the concept was not yet applied, forces had to be mobilized from member states. The O is planning on putting the concept into practice by 2015 at the earliest. <laughs> Darfur, Sudan in response to the ongoing Darfur conflict in Sudan, the O has deployed 7,000 peacekeepers, many from Rwanda and Nigeria, to Darfur. While a donors conference in Addis Ababa in 2005 helped raise funds to sustain the peacekeepers through that year and into 2006, in July 2006 the O said it would pull out at the end of September when its mandate expires. Critics of the O peacekeepers, including Dr. Eric Reeves, have said these forces are largely ineffective due to lack of funds, personnel, and expertise. Monitoring an area roughly the size of France has made it even more difficult to sustain an effective mission. In June 2006, the United States Congress appropriated $173 million for the O force. Some, such as the Genocide Intervention Network, have called for UN or NATO intervention to augment and or replace the O peacekeepers. The UN has considered deploying a force, though it would not likely enter the country until at least October 2007. 
The underfunded and badly equipped omission was set to expire on 31 December 2006 but was extended to 30 June 2007 and merged with the United Nations African Union mission in Darfur in October 2007. In July 2009 the African Union ceased cooperation with the International Criminal Court, refusing to recognize the international arrest warrant it had issued against Sudan's leader, Omar al-Bashir, who was indicted in 2008 for war crimes. The O struggled to have a strategic role in the independence talks and the reconciliation process of South Sudan, anyway due to overwhelming interests of African and non-African powers, its influence is still limited and not consistent. Topic. Somalia From the early 1990s up until 2000, Somalia was without a functioning central government. A peace agreement aimed at ending the civil war that broke out following the collapse of the Siad Bar regime was signed in 2006 after many years of peace talks. However, the new government was almost immediately threatened by further violence. In February 2007, the African Union o and European Union EU worked together to establish the African Union mission in Somalia AMISM. The purpose of AMISM was to create a foundation that would hopefully provide aid to some of Somalia's most vulnerable and keep the peace in the region. They are tasked with everything from protecting federal institutions to facilitating humanitarian relief operations. Much of the AU's opposition comes from an Islamic extremist group named Al-Shabaab. To temporarily shore up the government's military base, starting in March 2007, O soldiers began arriving in Mogadishu as part of a peacekeeping force that was intended by the O to eventually be 8,000 strong. Eritrea recalled its ambassadors to the African Union on 20 November 2009 after the African Union called on the United Nations Security Council to impose sanctions on them due to their alleged support of Somali Islamists attempting to topple the transitional federal government of Somalia, the internationally recognized government of Somalia which holds Somalia's seat on the African Union. On the 22nd of December 2009, the United Nations Security Council passed UNSCR 1907, which imposed an arms embargo on Eritrea, travel bans on Eritrean leaders, and asset freezes on Eritrean officials. Eritrea strongly criticized the resolution. In January 2011, Eritrea re-established their mission to the O in Addis Ababa. In the fall of 2011, Amisom forces, along with Kenyan and Ethiopian forces, launched a set of offensive attacks on the Al Shabaab. In these attacks, Amisom forces were able to reclaim key cities including the Somali capital of Mogadishu. In September 2013, Ethan Bueno de Mesquita, a political scientist, argued that with the help of Amisom forces, they had made it nearly impossible for al-Shabaab to hold territory even in its former strongholds in southern Somalia. Although lots of progress has been made towards peace in the region, it should still be noted that African Union forces still get attacked regularly. Despite Amisom being effective, it is vastly underfunded and many forces lack the resources required. Funding for humanitarian relief and the formation of armies tends to be vastly undercut. <laughs> Anjouan, Comoros a successful 2008 invasion of Anjouan by O and Comoros forces to stop self-declared President Mohamed Bakar, whose 2007 re-election was declared illegal. Prior to the invasion, France helped transport Tanzanian troops but their position in the disagreement was questioned when a French police helicopter was suspected of attempting to sneak Bakar into French exile. The first wave of troops landed on Anjouan Bay on 25 March and soon took over the airfield in Wani, ultimately aiming to locate and remove Bakar from office. On the same day, the airport, capital, and second city were overrun and the presidential palace was deserted. Bakar escaped and sought asylum in France and the government of Comoros demanded they return him so they may determine his consequence. Many of Bakar's primary supporters were arrested by the end of March, including Caabi El Yakrutu Muhammad and Ibrahim Halidi. His asylum request was rejected in 15 May as France agreed to cooperate with the Comoran government's demand. His presidential position was then occupied by Moussa Toibou after winning the election in 29 June. Topic. See also Topic. References Topic. Bibliography 
Strengthening Popular Participation in the African Union, A Guide to O Structures and Processes, Aframap and Oxfam GB, 2010. Towards a People-Driven African Union, Current Challenges and New Opportunities Aframap, AFRODAD and Oxfam GB, January 2007. The New African Initiative and the African Union, A Preliminary Assessment and Documentation by Henning Melber, Publisher, Nordiska Afrikainstitute, Sweden, ISBN 91-7106-486-9, October 2002. The African Union, NEPAD and Human Rights, The Missing Agenda. Human Rights Quarterly Vol. 26, No. 4, November 2004. Bibliography on the O at the Peace Palace Library. Topic. External links Official website African Union Mission in the United Nations First African Union Summit July 2002 in Durban, South Africa, website created by SA government Southern Africa Regional Poverty Network page on the O and NEPAD, many useful links Pan-African Perspective Background on Union Government Debate BBC Profile, African Union African Union at Curlie Africa, 50 Years of Independence Radio France Internationale in English The Broken Dream of African Unity, Jean Karim Fall. Radio France Internationale in English <laughs>